Hey guys, this is Tag Force Games, and I'm back to your reaction to Death Battle, Nightwing vs. Daredevil. And, um, thought about doing a, um, discussion video of this, but in the end I decided to screw it. Still trying to work out a schedule here, so didn't really have time to, you know, make, make one of those, you know, like prediction videos, so, meh. It was just too much work for me, and I decided not to, but in the end... I think Daredevil's gonna win this. Not 100% confident, but at the same time, Nightwing, he's a side character. Let's face it, he's a side character versus a main character. And, yeah, it's, well, they're really, like, I know Night, there's, there's a possibility Nightwing could win this, but at the same time, Daredevil's freaking insane. <laughs> he's, um, well, I mean, Daredevil... Like, he's blind, but he can, he's better, he, he, his, he's blind, but he has something better than eyesight, pretty much. Like, I think Nightwing's stealth isn't gonna, really gonna matter much, considering what Daredevil can do, but, eh, at the same time, you never know. So, let's see, shall Nightwing join his mentor in, a, in death this season, or shall he have, or shall he, or shall he, you know, win this one for for his fallen mentor but so yeah let's just jump right in we'll start the video in three two one play hey everybody want to let you know we have an all new death battle tee if you guys like the way it looks okay. and you want to pick one up just click the link in the description below death battle. I, I need to get one of those <laughs> what on earth guys <laughs> In a world where superhumans can fly through the sky or lift buildings over their head, yeah. it takes a lot more than a pair of tights for a mere mortal to stand out from the crowd. Mm. But these guys have it covered. Nightwing, oh, yeah. the original protege of Batman. <laughs> and Daredevil, Marvel's man without fear. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And, and it's, it's our, our job, job to analyze their weapons, weapons, armor, and skills, skills to find out who would win a death, death battle. battle. First live action death battle. It's gonna be great. In modern they can go to Ismahawk. I've, I've seen, I've seen the their videos. It's they're all great. But dead. And good riddance, because the world doesn't need any more clowns. Mm. Yet in its heyday, few performances could top the trapeze mastery of the Flying Graysons. Well, until a mobster cut their cord on life short. Literally. Yeah. But they had a son, young yet just as talented as them. Orphaned and alone, all seemed hopeless for Dick Grayson. Until he scored the coolest foster dad in the freaking universe, oh, yeah. the goddamn Batman. And under the Cape Crusader, Dick wasn't just a son, he was a sidekick, mm -hmm. a superhero. He was Robin. Until he wasn't. Yeah. You got knocked the Robin spent many, many years kicking bad guys around the back alleys of Gotham City Lux with his new wheat. dad. Lux Who wheat. could forget the time he crushed Blockbuster under True. a truck, or when he whipped out that shark repellent? Never leave home without it, kids. But then Batman suddenly realized, you know what? Bringing kids into battle is actually a bad idea. Yeah. So he fired him, and then promptly forgot this little revelation. Only mm. time to update yeah, the true. resume, Batman. Probably for the best, though. I mean, come on. The kid didn't even have a proper pair of pants. What's your mm. problem, Bruce? Batman. Whoa, the mouth on this one. Actually, mm. it was for the best, though not in the way Batman hoped. Inspired by a story of an ancient Kryptonian superhero, Dick took to the streets by himself with a brand new uniform and a brand new name. From then on, he would be known as Nightwing. He looks freaking cool. <laughs> Gotta hand it to Bats. He sure knows how to mold a kid into a criminal crushing machine. Right. With expertise in Taekwondo, Ninjutsu, Aikido, and a bunch of other styles, Nightwing is one of the finest martial artists in comic book history. Mm -hmm. No doubt helped by his world class acrobatic skills. He is one of only three people on Earth who are capable of performing a quadruple flip. And hmm. between the fancy schooling he got at Hudson U and being a founding member of the Teen Titans, he's yep. got brains and brawn, plus a whole lot of weapons. Nightwing's suit is lightweight, bulletproof, and makes virtually no sound when moving. Hmm. The blue colors even turn black while in the dark. His mask features a holographic UI complete with night vision and a spectral analyzer. 
He's rocking utility belts on his wrists and ankles full of lockpicks, smoke pellets, and staples that are so strong they can support the weight of a freaking helicopter. He also carries a rebreather, grapple gun, and wingdings. That weird alien font with all the shapes? <laughs> oh, I'll figure out your secret one day, wingdings. No, 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 more like the batarangs or thrown shurikens. Yeah. The standard wingdings are extremely sharp, but he also carries dulled ultrasonic and explosive variants. But let's get to the good stuff. Like his two screaming sticks. Escrima sticks. That are great for beating the shit out of people. Yeah. And they'll be pretty shocked when they find out Nightwing has wired them with 50,000 volt tasers. <laughs> Despite their falling out, Nightwing clearly remains inspired by the gadgets and skills of his batty mentor. Right, And yeah. he's put them to good use. He's strong enough to punch people through solid walls <laughs> and smash through a sheet of ice from underwater and hold back the 19,000 pounds per square inch bite force of an orca. And while wow. breaking a car window doesn't sound impressive, Nightwing's done so while the car was underwater and therefore pressurized. To huh. pull this off, he needed to impact the glass with over 24,000 pounds per square inch. He's wow. quick enough to dodge point blank gunfire, <laughs> skilled enough to leap through the city while blindfolded, and tough enough to survive falling off a building. Generally, any unsafe landing over 21 hey. feet is guaranteed to break bone. And Nightwing dropped 140 feet onto his butt. And he was fine. And we've all fallen on our tailbone. That shit sucks. Yeah. At one point, Nightwing spent 96 hours patrolling city streets looking for the criminal mastermind Two-Face. Hmm. And an additional five or more hours collecting evidence. A hmm. 2010 study on sleep deprivation noted that 72 hours without sleep leads to a number of horrendous side effects, including hallucinations. But when it was time to leap between blimps hundreds of feet in the air and give Two-Face the beatdown he deserved, <laughs> you couldn't even tell Nightwing was in desperate need of a nap. Right. And don't forget, he was trained by the number one detective in the world. He's good yeah. enough to solve a kidnapping with a single look at the scene of a crime. Even Ow. more impressive, he once performed a skydive at 930 miles per hour, which took all of 15 minutes. That puts his starting position around 25 miles high and free falling faster than the speed of sound. For reference, real life Austrian athlete Felix Bumgartner performed a similar great leap from 24 miles up, hitting a maximum speed over 800 miles per hour. To pull this off, he needed a specialized suit to protect him from the extreme cold, unfiltered sunlight, and lack of oxygen. One hmm. mistake in movement could have put him into a rapid spin, rendering him unconscious and causing his blood to boil. And Nightwing hmm. just did it without any of that. Damn. <coughs> He's certainly tough, but he's had his fair share of losses. His scarred body is proof of that. Yeah. And eventually, him and Bats finally made up. He even took up the cowl himself when Batman was out for a while. Nightwing is one right, superhero yeah. who will always come out on top, along with his partners, Jim and Juan. What? I mean, it's right here in the intern's notes. Who's Jim and Juan? Oh, that's, uh, that's the names these ladies gave his butt cheeks. Uh oh. oh. Well... Guess you can't argue you with know, the ass on that dick. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. I haven't used that name in a long time. Call me Nightwing. Teen Titans, the, like the original. Wow, Before that's cool. he became the man without fear, Matthew Murdock was the son of a professional boxer named Battling Jack. Mm. Sounds like a badass, but Jack actually boxed because it was the only thing he was good at. And he needed money to get his kid through school so that little Matt would have a better life than he did. Alright. Oh, what a good, good dad. dad. He's punching his dad, people for his kid. <laughs> Matt still trained in secret with his father's exercise equipment, molding himself into a powerful fighter and an expert acrobat. This new athletic ability would come in handy when he witnessed a blind man walking right in front of a speeding truck. Feeling especially heroic that day, Matt dove in to push the guy to safety, but the truck crashed, sending some weird acid stuff flying all over Matt's face. Mm. From that day forward, Matt was permanently blind. I, I, I can't see! I can't see! Mm. Still, Matt did not give up on the dream his father wanted. He earned his degree with flying colors and founded a law firm with his friend Foggy Nelson. Things were actually looking up for him. Yeah. Well, except for when his dad was killed by a mobster for right. ruining a rigged boxing match. Mm. Because you can't be a superhero unless you've lost your parents. Matt was distraught. His world had come crashing down around him, and he couldn't even see it happen. But he could hear it, smell it, feel it. 
Yeah, cause turns out that radioactive goop didn't just blind Matt, it gave him superpowers. Right. So he of dressed up like the devil himself and right. literally scared the mobster to death. And so Daredevil was born. Many blind people, particularly those born with it, experience a rewriting of the brain to heighten their other senses, mm -hmm. somewhat making up for their lack of sight. Something similar happened to Daredevil, except like a hundred times greater. His touch right. became so sensitive, he can tell when a person is close to him simply from the disturbance in the air. His <laughs> ears can pick up the faintest of sounds, from the slightest movement of an enemy to the rising heartbeat of someone who's lying. His taste can detect each separate ingredient in any recipe, including poisons, and his nose can track you down like a bloodhound. Who needs eyes when you can sense everything around you to the smallest detail? Right. But he couldn't use his blind powers as well as he does without the training under a super secret warrior named Stick. Yep. No relation. With Stick's help, it's Matt mastered cool. several Thank fighting God. styles, including Jutsu, on the TV Krav Maga, show. and Kung Fu. And get this, Stick had basically the same blind powers as Daredevil. Whoa. <sighs> Silk sheet. Thanks to him, Matt learned how to hone his senses, to know and maneuver through his surroundings even better than those with working eyes. He also learned how to tap into something called an atom-induced radar sense. Like that thing that bats do when they bounce sound around to see in the dark or whatever? Sort of. That's sonar, or echolocation, and he can use it too. But thanks to his radioactive origins, Daredevil can actually emit electromagnetic energy waves from his body, which bounce huh. off objects in his vicinity, painting a picture of his surroundings in his Someone's head. Sense. This Some means he doesn't sense. need okay. sound to find and take down an opponent. So he's got a ton of ways to make up for his eye problem, but he's also got some awesome gear to help him take out the bad guys. Like his devil suit that's bulletproof, shockproof, flameproof, and a perfect backup plan whenever he forgets to prep for a Halloween party. For combat, he built a versatile weapon out of his most innocuous possession, a walking cane. By day, he's a feeble blind man slowly tapping across the road. <laughs> but by night, he whips out the horns and snaps his cane into a high-tech billy club. Yeah. The club houses a cable, hidden blades, a recording device, and exploding pellets. <laughs> it can even turn into a boomerang. Man, where do I get one of these? You don't have to be blind, right? No, but you shouldn't. You already destroy everything without a super club. <laughs> well, I'd need to practice to throw it as well as he does. You know how Captain America tosses his shield all over the place and it always seems to come back to him? Well, Daredevil does the exact same thing. And he can throw it hard enough to bust concrete. Oh. He's super strong. He can lift a 400-pound barbell and chuck it as casually as when I toss a beer away if it's time for a new one. Wow. He's quick enough to deflect bullets with his billy club and skilled enough to bounce one back so it killed the man who fired it in the first place. Bet that guy wasn't expecting that. It looks like he's firing a Glock, which has a muzzle speed of about 1,200 feet per second. At just 20 feet away, Daredevil had to react within 17 milliseconds to avoid getting hit. And while wow. he couldn't survive a shot to the head, he's powered through a heck of a lot when compared to the average human. He's survived zaps from Electro, whose power can burn through metal. He's fallen multiple stories and walked away, powered through a napalm explosion, and been hit by a five-foot bar swung by the ox, who can tear through through metal cages and lift more than 800 pounds. His keen control huh. over his nervous system has also helped him resist tranquilizers and toxins, but his super senses are also his biggest weakness. They may give him way more field awareness than most anybody else, but if his opponent knows how his powers work, they can overload his senses with an extremely loud noise or a really bad smell. Like if right. he had a truckload of screaming skunks you could throw at him. That'd probably work, right? But even with those weaknesses, Daredevil is a fearsome foe for anyone who would face him, even right. if he can't see them. He even managed to balance his life of law and the crime fighting, and became a huge success on his own. Papa Boxer would be proud. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you! Take your shot. <laughs> All yeah, right, still pretty confident Daredevil can win this, but at the same time, for all. Nightwing is, first, you Nightwing need to is treat your pretty freaking smart. He might be able to figure out Daredevil's weakness, but 
Say by I don't now, know you've how probably heard of Blue it. Apron, the leading meal so, kit delivery service in the U.S. Yeah, I still think Daredevil's going to win, but... You know all the different kinds of delicious foods you can make, like the Nightwing. honey chipotle glazed chicken with poblano in fact, I think I love Nightwing more than Daredevil, There's plenty to choose from. at the same time, Since I'm rooting for Daredevil as well as thinking he's going to win. All you have to do is choose Strange, two, three, but... <laughs> or four that sound best to you, and they yeah, deliver it right um... to your door. Plus, it's super simple to cook. It's got easy to follow instructions and perfectly proportioned ingredients. They're non GMO the ad, and the meat has the no added hormone. <laughs> my favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. So check out this week's menu and get your first over. three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. <laughs> That's blueapron.com slash battle to get your first three right. meals free. But right, right now, it's time for a death battle. Alright, here we go. I know you're there. You can leave now, or I can drag you out. It's your choice. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots, especially looking at the Prince of Darkness. But that case over there is part of an investigation I've been working, so why don't you hand it over, and I'll get out of your horns. Is that a no, then? Fuck! Yo. <laughs> Located or something? Or is it broken or? Dislocated. Oh! What are you? Better. Better. <laughs> yes, his suit is shock <laughs> I could see the look on your face. Me too. Oh. Oh, he can exploit it. All right. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> see you in hell. Oh, is that how it ends? He just punched him? Oh! Alright then. What I guess the... Nightwing wins. Was that live action? 
We can do that now? <laughs> this was possibly one of our closest matchups to date. Hmm. Despite lacking a true superhuman physique, both Nightwing and Daredevil were extremely skilled and deadly fighters. Yeah. When it came to overpowering each other, they were pretty dead even. Sure, based on their previous feats, we can tell that Nightwing seemed a little stronger and more acrobatic, and Daredevil seemed a little quicker to react. Okay. But these differences were extremely minimal. It's actually feasible that these two could pull off almost all the exact same feats. Hmm. Keyword being almost. Right. With such similar physical abilities, this really came down to their arsenal. Nightwing's gadgets and Daredevil's superpowers. Yeah. At first glance, these could simply counter each other, making this match completely even again. For example, both could take advantage of the dark with night vision or super senses. Yeah. But only one set was perfectly suited to actively disrupt the other. Remember Nightwing's scanning mask? There's no way he couldn't notice those electro waves Daredevil's radar sense was sending everywhere. Oh, okay. Even Mr. Magoo could have figured out something was weird here, let alone hmm. the guy trained by freaking Batman. You know, the greatest detective in the world? Yeah. For a little hand-to-hand -hand action, Nightwing was certainly clever enough to recognize Daredevil's reliance to sound over sight and had the perfect counterweapon the ultrasonic wing ding. Okay. Look, I'm sure there were several possible scenarios where Daredevil could have pulled off the win, but more times than not, Nightwing takes this thanks to his athletic skill, detective okay. training, and high-tech gadgets. All he had to do was dare to wing it. Wow. The winner is Nightwing. Okay. Next episode is the 100th episode. What are they gonna do? Oh, wow. Let's go straight into it this time. A class, oh, a classic match. New rules? Let's go. What? No. Oh, this thing came off the camera. They're when redoing I was it Mario up. versus you Sonic. Me every single time you've set up the camera. Holy you've crap. Never taken the cap off? Hey, thanks for watching Holy our 90th episode, and thanks to Ismahawk for that awesome live action fight. Plus, we're That's gonna, gonna be freaking cool. Hey, if you guys wanna pick one up, just click that shop now button right over there. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> oh, man. Gonna be rooting for Sonic, because I love Sonic, but at the same time. Just freaking. <laughs> I, I mean, Sonic's gonna win, but. <laughs> with, the, with the new rules, it just. Holy crap. This is gonna be freaking great. This is gonna be great. Now they're and now they're gonna be doing you know the, you know, Wizard Moonstick are finally gonna be doing showing their faces. It's just ah, oh, this is gonna be great. Just <laughs> oh man, I can't I can't I can't wait for this one. So yeah, I'm gonna end it right here. So I don't know what else to say. Great fight. I was proven wrong, but at the same time I'm not disappointed. So yeah. That was, that's all I gotta say. Till next time, guys. See ya.